them. I'm really looking forward to them because they're supposedly incredible. They're up and coming. Um, this is their first televised performance. We're going to go to the televised performance and then they're going to come and talk to us. Oh, and look oh, who we have here. here. Our favorite guest of oh, all time. Look at how funny I this saw, is. I saw Lonnie at the newsroom and I basically told them that if he doesn't stop by, I am coming to him with the camera and the microphone. I, 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 I found him. that to be a little daunting, actually. No, <laughs> no I, I love coming a little backstage live yeah, action. Well, we, it, we love having you. Well, it's just, it's, look, it, we've gotten the, sh the shows now kind of exploded, people. No, but what I mean is we're in all different parts of the plaza now, and sometimes you, you, you can't get away from where no. you are to get over here. And, but you guys have this great little spot here. It's a great under spot. The tree. Yeah, and we have people walking all around us, which is kind of nice. Show them the nice little tree we're under. Go it's ahead. It's a really nice tree. Watch, it's beautiful. And we're next to you a know what, fountain. You know, what, you know what word I like? I like the word bucolic. Bucolic. It's a nice bucolic. Spell that yeah. for us, Lonnie. Ah, uh, bucolic. B u c o l i c. I Let's have one of our viewers check it out and get back know. to Rick and let us know if he got it right. No, no, it could be because bucolic. Maybe are, that's are you a good speller? With, well, clearly not. Yeah. Uh, but maybe that's something to do with like. First of all, it's beauty as it relates to nature, yeah. right? Yeah. And and it could be bucolic. like maybe maybe beautiful. So maybe it's a b e a u colic. Rick, let's see if we can use that later in a sentence with one of our other guests and see if they res bucolic. It's going to be the word of the day. And we're going to try and see if we can fit that man. into some, some one of the interviews without the other guests knowing about it. It, it almost has a little bit of... That's a great idea. But it's almost <laughs> You know like, they're going to be looking at me like, bu, bu what? Oh God, yeah. <laughs> but it's almost got a little sound of like uh, some sort of ailment. Like, oh, I've got bucolic. Yes. Like, like something in your stomach. Yeah. Yeah. So what's been going on uh, with Backstage Live? Today? Well, what, we've what had, uh, we've already talked to one expert about how women, more and more women are opting not to have children these days. Well, who else would opt not to have children? I got her name wrong. I hope she didn't mind. But, really? you know, my notes got like, you know, they flew in the wind. And by the time I put them together, I got the name wrong. Is that, is, do you think that's horrible? Um, you always would, you, you want you to try and get the guest name right. You want to have right? a working knowledge of who your guest is. But wait, so let me just see your notes here. So yeah. The fact in that, order, it, look, to it's... To be fair to Itai, we dragged him all the way over from Germany last night I know. to do this show. But I just looked... I landed last night. I got home at like 10.30 and I had to be up at 3. Not, not to make any excuses, but right. if I make any mistakes today, it's all Rick's fault. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I know we were talking about how uh, we kind of dig this word bucolic. You call it. Itai. Now that's a name. No, yeah. That's well, a name. It's Israeli. I like it. Yes. But you know, listen, you were talking before about how you had this interview yeah. with this gal about a new study that says women are opting not to have children. Yes, because... Who else would opt not to have children? I know, right? I mean, men can't... Uh, well, they can opt not to have children with women, I guess. Semantics. So maybe we should be saying that people, people are, are opting. opting. But I not. think this study specifically looked at women, and the reason I think is because women are, you know, don't have the social pressure that they had before. You know, they now can, can, you know, have their careers and maybe yeah. have their kids a little later and no one looks at, looks at them in any negative way like they did perhaps 30 years ago. If you were a woman at a certain age and you didn't have children, there goes, the and there goes my notes. This is, what this is gonna happen a lot today, but that's okay. Oh, the wind says oh, the wind we have a new change. guest. Yeah. The wind Lonnie, yeah. Lonnie, we do have a new guest, but you have to promise me no, you'll no, be back because no, we no, just started no, chatting. I totally Lonnie is going to be our roving co-anchor of the day. I totally understand what this We're going to put you on the spot, Lonnie. Can you promise us that you're going to be back? Oh, absolutely. Please. Live. Not, not only, yeah, <laughs> lies, lies, and more lies. No, I will be back. Uh, hey, listen, I want you to rock. The, who do you have coming up here? Who's, uh, who's the interview you're going to rock next? Oh. Know your guest's name? Yes, yes, yes. No, we're going to be talking to Dr. Jennifer Harstein. Did I say that right, Jennifer? Yes, uh, I got it right this time. Jen, Jen, come, come on, on in. Here. Come join come us. Lonnie, you're going to be talking to us about the weather later because there's huge weather news, right? We got our, our first name storm of the season. Yeah, we have Tropical Storm Alex out there. And of course, Alex, hang on here, Doc. Alex Hello, is in, uh, it's uh, just like around the Yucatan Peninsula. Yes. And it is going to eventually make its way into the Gulf of Mexico, which is, of course, where the oil, oil spill is. So we want to know about that. You're going to talk to us about that because it's uh, probably worrying a lot of people. A little bit, a little bit later. All right. We'll see him later.